Hey YouTube, got a quick video on a DJI FPV auxiliary reflector. Check that out. Let me show you what it did and how much it weighs. Alright, this is what a mount will go right underneath here. Two screws here. You'll just take them out, slip this little mount. I got a curved reflector. I just mount it. Let's see if I can do this right. It'll be just like this. And you'll take a rubber band. Just like that. And that's how you'll mount it. Let's check out the weight. Four grams. Same as this one. It is also four grams. Try to get you a shot of that. Anyway. It sets flat on the ground. I have no worries with it sitting on the ground. It does not hit your battery. Take your battery out real easy. It does not interfere with the battery. Don't interfere with the ground sensors. Well, what do you think? show you some videos what it looks like flying in pitch dark this is with the flat reflector with a which I didn't show you Fresnel lens After I reviewed this footage a few times, I thought my favorite was going to be the curved lens. But after rewatching this, hmm, I'm rethinking it. That was the flat lens. This is the flat lens without the Fresnel lens. I don't know if there'd be better camera settings. Just kind of threw it on there to see what she could do. All right. Here, this is what I meant by the Fresno lens. Special little cutout. Just put it under, slip it under these sensors in the front. that that's how I got the Fresno end effect the focused light this is the curved curved light should just let it take off I reckon Come on. I know I moved somewhere. Here we go. Alright. Flew around the house. 
felt pretty comfortable. Again, I thought this was my favorite. I kind of thought I felt more comfortable with it than any of the other reflectors. I think it flew it the longest with the curved reflector. But looking back on the video, I think I might have liked the straight reflector with the Fresnel lens. Alright, with the Fresnel lens. Gives you that focus of light, but it splits up. I, I don't know what really to do to get rid of that black, that dark line. Be nice to. It was just all one beam, fluent. But I just want to put this out there to see what people think using their auxiliary LED. On the bottom of your drone instead of throwing another, I don't know, 100 ounces on your drone just to have light. Four grams. Just about it. See the it doesn't block enough light to where the sensors are not able to see the ground. So what do you think? Good idea, bad idea. I'll show you how easy that is to take off here. Get this off. Grab the rubber band. That's all you do. Just tilt it forward. Slap your other lens on there. I figure I had it on here. Tilt it, lay it back in there. Yep, grab your rubber band. That's it. Let me know what you think. It's been fun. God bless y'all. Love you. Have a good one.